Hello, so I want to make a quick video about an event that just happened in the New Zealand Parliament. So Ryui Waiti was just ejected from Parliament. So he is a member of the Maori Party and one of the 120 MPs of New Zealand. And he rocked up to Parliament yesterday without wearing a tie. Scandals, I know. And he was ejected for not following dress code proceedings. So a little, a little background to this. So maybe a year ago, the, the Speaker of the House, Trevor Mallard, said that he would like to, to re-look at the rules of Parliament about whether uh, they should, uh, whether men should be wearing neckties in Parliament, you know, so that they they have specific dress code and you know code of what you can say in Parliament, things like this, right? Obviously, there's a there's a code to this, and so a bunch of people talked about it. You know, the Green Party said that we should get rid of the, gr the neckties. A bunch of the um, the Labour Party said we should get rid of neckties. The Maori Party said we should get rid of neckties, but it came together and they didn't do it. They didn't get rid of the neckties. And Rory Whitey is one of the most vocal opponents of the necktie rule. He compares it to a noose. He, he like, I, I'm not 100% on his side on, on exactly what it says, but he says that it's, it's, it's a Pakeha, it, it's, you know, Europeans, you know, pushing their agenda on the Maori people of New Zealand, who are the indigenous of New Zealand. And he says that a necktie is, is this embodiment of, of, you know, holding down the, the Maori people who say that, if you are to be considered part of this country and part of the rules and regulations and being able to be a participant in the government and participate in society, you have to follow the rules that the Pakeha have set out, right? And like I, I, I completely disagree with this notion, saying that, because essentially this is saying that the, the, the white race or the European race that has come into New Zealand is the superior society and anything that the Maori had was just shit. That, that, that's what it says. Because it says that if a, if a Maori wanted to come to Parliament, they must dress and talk just like a Pakeha. And it, it, it's ludicrous. And this is days, I mean, days after we celebrated Waitangi Day, which is the celebration of the signing of the, the Treaty of Waitangi, the founding document of New Zealand. And it, it's, it's ludicrous. It's not like he, he didn't show up to Parliament in f a fucking Speedo. He showed up without a tie. He showed up without a tie saying that it... It was a symbol of of oppression of Maori in New Zealand. And I think you have to be ludicrous to say that Maori are not oppressed, or have not been oppressed in the past, uh, and ripples of that have affected Maori to this day. Because if you don't believe that, you have to think that Maori specifically, like, are, are just, you know, more lazy and all that stuff, because they, 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 they show up higher in the unemployment rates, they show up higher in, in stats of of violence and in prison population. So unless you think that Maori just genetically are just, you know, more prone to violence or stupider and lazier, which obviously I don't, and you shouldn't either, you have to agree that something in society is holding them back, or something in society is, it, it's not right. And to, to, and then to say one of the most prominent Maoris in Parliament right now, you know, the, the co-leader of the Maori party, he was, he was elected in a quite a tight race with one of the Maori electorates, it was, it was a very tight race in New Zealand and one of the big um, upsets in the last um, election. And this guy, he, he stated that he's going to be a pebble in the shoe for Parliament. They're saying that he, you can't just you know, throw uh, your married problems to, to, the, to the curb and you know, kick the can to another Parliament. Like, Jacinda Ardern and her government need to focus on married issues. And he's just being a symbol of this. He, he showed up without a tie. A tie, and he gets kicked out of Parliament. He can't do his job that his that the that the voters elected him to do. People in this country elected the Maori Party. Not that many people, obviously. So only the Maori Party only has two seats out of the 120 seats. So it's not, it's not like they have a big majority, right? It's not like they kicked out the entire National Caucus or anything. But they kicked out a member of Parliament who was doing his job there to represent his constituents, you know, the, the people of the Maori electorate that he represents, and he gets kicked out for what? For what? Not wearing a tie. It, it's stupid. It, it makes no sense. I think this is a ridiculous rule. And, you know, like, I, I have many critiques of Trevor Mallard, the, the speaker, that, you know, it's so numerous that I think he shouldn't be the speaker at all. And I, I many people have the, these things as well. And this is just another, you know, another addition to the list of Trevor Mallard should not be the speaker. The, um, there, there should be no dress code. Uh, in the sense that there, sh you, there should be a, be a tie, of, you know, don't don't have your your dick exposed, <laughs> you know, like I'm fine with a rule like that, and I'm sure the the uh, Rowie Whitey is fine with a rule like that too. You know, he's not walking there with his his dick swaying out, is he? He he's not wearing a tie. He didn't wear a tie, and it is ludicrous. 
And those who would say that it's just, it's the rules, you have to follow it. Go back to my previous argument. You say, like, you must consider that the rules set out by, you know, the, the European settlers in New Zealand and by, and by the Pakeha are the legitimate rules. And the Maori just need to listen to that instead of participating in the electoral process and in government. This is just a really quick rant. I'm, I'm working on some other stuff now. But yeah, let me know what you think about this Thai situation. And I really hope this is reversed. I hope, like, it, it was, he was just kicked out for the session. But, like, hopefully, you know, the, this matter can be resolved because I think it's ridiculous what has just happened.